We opened the doors in August of 1983, and that was about a year after I had left Evanston High School, where I'd been on staff for seven years doing job placement kinds of work. I saw that there was a community need. Of course, I had to raise the funds for it. I had to find a place. I had to get a lot of advice from people in the community about how you go after getting grants, particularly a um, community development block grant. That's how I started. And um, so it was kind of a joint effort with the press behind me, thank goodness. And so we started a year after I left the high school. Uh, this organization was very much a, a grassroots, community-based organization that lived on hope and promise for a very long time and, and hard, hard work on the part of the staff. The community's response to the YJC during my tenure uh, involved in the organization has been fantastic. And, and it started here in Evanston and clearly people understand the value of the Youth Job Center, what it's done for those in our community. But it's been really fun to see it expand much broader into uh, surrounding communities. It's also the case that YJC has become more sophisticated. The staff has grown, services have improved, um, and it's providing services to a broad array of, of people geographically. The goal is really to get them, you know, out of the job jumping mode into the, oh, I'm stable, I enjoy what I'm doing, I'm working. It's what kind of impact does an agency like this have on society. I see people who are now grandparents saying, there's Jeanette, remember me? I'm so, I want you to meet my grandchild, you know. And that job you got me working at Heinz Lumber or wherever it was, you know, turned into my career. I now have three trucks and I'm doing construction work and so forth. And I hear that all over the place. What it does to, for an individual to have a job, I mean, there are just so many positives about that. that that, and that's not going to go away anytime soon. So my hope for YJC in the next four years is that we are really able to expand and help all clients throughout Chicago. My hope for YJC for the next 40 years is that we continue to uh, lead with integrity, continue to support our young people as they navigate their educational and employment goals, and for us to continue to create a network where more of our young people can be successful. What I hope for YJC in the next 40 years is that we are funded so well that we can always prioritize the needs of the clients and make sure that those needs are met and that we're serving them to the best of our ability. We do really good work around Chicago that I'm really proud of um, and I just want to get our name out there. I want folks to know who YJC is. I speak expansion into YJC in the next 40 years because we have something unexplainable here that people are like, how do they do this? Um, that a lot of youth can benefit from. I would hope that we're thriving. I would hope that we have more young people with higher living wages, more young people getting into more high-skilled, high-wage jobs where they do not have to feel the pressure of going through a four-year opportunity. And that more industries understand that organizations like YJC really help. Mm -hmm.